Hey there, welcome back to How To Medicate and welcome to this brand new video. Now, I was inspired to make this video because I read an article of the World Health Organization called Sexual Transmitted Infections, STIs, and it blew my mind. Did you know that worldwide more than 1 million people each and every day are infected with a sexual transmitted disease? That's a lot of people! That's an incredible number of people and some of these cases should be preventable with the right amount of information and education and I thought that's an opportunity. That's where I come in and I wanted to spread more awareness on the STDs. So that's why today we are covering the most common STDs, how to recognize them and more importantly how to prevent them. Now this is the first video of a two-part series so let's get started. If we are meeting the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer. And as we always do, I will first start with a little disclaimer. This video is not meant as medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. This brings us to the first question. What is an STD? An STD stands for Sexual Transmitted Disease. And it can be transmitted from one person to another by sexual intercourse vaginal, anal and oral. And as you just heard, they're really, really common. About 376 million infections each and every year. That's an amazing number. And that number, that quantity, makes SCDs a huge problem. They can have severe symptoms like pain in your genitals, discharge from your genitals, but more often they have no symptoms at all. And this is especially dangerous because untreated STDs can cause severe medical complications. They can lead to infertility, they can cause several types of cancer, and they can even cause death. They are in particularly dangerous for unborn babies and pregnant women. So STDs are no joke and they should be dealt with seriously. Therefore, you should always be tested after you could be exposed to any of them. However, on the bright side, it becomes easier and easier to get tested. And some of them are easily treatable with some medication. And this brings us to the lineup. There are more than 30 different viruses, bacteria and parasites that can cause STDs. And to keep this video short and sweet, I will only cover the 8 most common ones. And if you want to see an in-depth video on any of these, then please let me know in the comment section and I will make such a video. Now, of these eight viruses, bacteria and parasites we are going to cover, only four are currently curable. Those are syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia and trichomonias. And those are the infections we are going to cover today. The other four are viral and they are incurable. However, the symptoms can be improved and altered through medication. Those are Hepatitis B, Herpes simplex virus, HIV and Human Papilloma virus, HPV. I will cover all those viruses in the video next week, so if you're interested, subscribe and check it out next week. We will start this video off with syphilis. And syphilis is very, very dangerous, but luckily also very rare. About 30,000 new cases each and every year in the US alone. Now syphilis has three stages. It always starts with a painless sore, usually on your genitals, mouth or lips. These are called cancrous and usually you only have one. These are very, very infectious and spread by skin to skin contact. So usually through sexual intercourse as you usually have these cancrous on your genitals. Now, after being infected within three to 12 weeks, you will develop your own syphilis symptoms. It's important here to know that these sores come and go on their own, but this doesn't mean the syphilis is gone. In fact, the only way to get rid of syphilis is by taking prescription antibiotics. That's why regular STD testing is so important, even though you seem to be in perfect health. Now, if you don't get treatment for your syphilis, you will develop stage two syphilis called the syphilis rash. Now, you will develop this rash on your hand palms, the soles of your feet as well as any other part of your body. It usually doesn't itch and you will develop mild-like flu symptoms. This will last two to six weeks and again this may come and go for about two years. And ultimately if you don't get tested and you won't get treated then you will develop late-stage syphilis and this is where it becomes dangerous. It can damage your nerve system, your brain and basically any other organ. 
can cause tumors, lead to blindness, paralysis, and ultimately even death. This will usually take about 10 to 20 years after your initial infection. And that's why it's so important that you get proper testing and treatment. Second on the list is conorrhea, the clap or the drip as it's also called. Conorrhea spreads to sexual fluids like semen or vaginal fluids and it is very, very infectious. It is easily spread during sexual intercourse and most people won't develop any symptoms and feel totally fine. This is maybe the reason why more than 550,000 people are infected with conorrhea in the US alone. However, if you do develop any symptoms, this will be within one week after being infected. You can experience pain or a burning feeling when you pee, abnormal discharge from your genitals or anus. It's usually yellowish white or greenish, itching or pain around the anus, bleeding between your periods for women, and pain or swelling of your testicles if you're a man. Ultimately, conorrhea can cause severe medical complications like infertility, but luckily it can easily be treated with antibiotics. STD number three is chlamydia. Chlamydia is also spread to sexual fluids and thereby through sexual intercourse, and it's very, very common. And again, most people with chlamydia don't have any symptoms and probably they don't even know they're infected. This is probably why close to 3 million Americans get it each and every year. However, even though it's unlikely, you could develop any of these symptoms within a few weeks after being infected. Pain or burning while peeing or during sexual intercourse, lower back pain, pain around your anus, abnormal discharge from your genitals or anus, it's usually yellowish with a strong smell for female, and watery, milky for men, bleeding between periods for women, and again, swollen testicles for men. Ultimately, chlamydia can cause several medical complications, of which most often lead a PID. This can cause severe medical symptoms, can make you really ill, and can lead to infertility. And we don't want that. Now the last STD we are going to cover today is called trichomonious or trick, trick, trick. Trick is a parasite and the other three STDs we covered are bacteria. It also spreads to sexual fluids and it's even more common than the previous ones. About 5 million people in the US alone are infected with Trick each and every year. And again, as with most of the other STDs, 70% of all the people infected with Trick will not develop any symptoms. However, those who do will most commonly develop a vaginitis. A vaginitis is an infection and irritation of your vagina. It can also cause painful and frequent peeing, a smelly discharge and pain during intercourse. Like with most other STDs, these symptoms may come and go, but that doesn't mean the STD is gone. And again, treatment is needed to fully cure trichomonias or trick. Now, all these STDs are horrible and can quite literally be a pain in the ass. Pun intended. We covered how to recognize them and there's an itty mini tiny problem. Most of them don't have any symptoms most of the time. And if they do cause symptoms, these come and go all the time. This is the reason why most people think they are not infected anymore with any STD and are cured. Well, in fact, this is not true. They still are infected and they still are able to spread it to other partners and other people. Explaining the 376 million infections worldwide each and every year. Now, we covered how to recognize these STDs. Let's cover how to prevent them. So all the STDs we covered are spread to sexual intercourse, by skin-to-skin -skin contact or by contact with sexual fluids. Now, obviously, the best way to prevent a sexual transmitted disease is by not having sexual intercourse at all. Duh. However, if you do have sexual intercourse, there's a safe way to do it. First of all, maybe the most important rule, always use protection. Use a condom and or a dental dam every time you have sex, especially with new partners. Secondly, always get tested on a sexual transmitted disease if you had unsafe sex, again, especially when you have a new partner. Also get tested if you develop any of the symptoms we previously discussed. This is a very major way to keep your body healthy even though you don't have any symptoms. Tip number three, also very logical in my own opinion. If you do test positive, make sure to receive proper treatment. Go through the whole treatment process 
don't have any unsafe sex and only do so after you finish the treatment. Otherwise, you will be able to spread the STD to your partner and we don't want that. Now, if you do test positive and you do have an STD, then please let your previous bad partners know so they can also get tested and treated if necessary. And to sum it all up, if you finished with your treatment, always use protection so you won't be able to get any of these STDs. And that's the most important tip. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope it was clear, I hope you learned a thing or two, and I hope you will never be infected with any STD. Next week I will be posting part two of this incredible video series on curable STDs and how to prevent them. And if you don't want to miss that video, then also subscribe. And furthermore, if you did enjoy this video, then please leave a like. This will let YouTube know this video is worth recommending to other viewers, which spreads more awareness on STDs, which was the whole point of this video. Again, thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you next week. Bye bye.